Hi guys, Casey Madden here with Dr. Evan Anton, and we have some adorable puppies today, and we are freaking out. Dr. Evan, who are these puppies? Tell us about them. <laughs> well, you have Malcolm, I have Jones, and Malcolm actually needs a home. So these guys came from North Shore Animal League America, okay. and they have lots of pets up for adoption, not just Mr. Malcolm. And you can find them at animalleague.org. That's animalleague.org. Okay, so we need to help find this guy a home, guys. So check out the website to learn all about them. But first, before we get this pet, what do you think people need to know about becoming first-time pet owners? Uh, I think you should definitely do your homework because there's okay. a lot to be aware of when taking care of a pet. I mean, there's time commitments, there's space commitments, right. there's financial commitments, all these things come into play. And so, you know, a big part of why I wanted to, you know, get out and get with these guys and, mm -hmm. and chat with you was, was, you know, it's a new year too. And right. it's, it's time to even for pet owners that already have pets. Right. You know, to think about reevaluating their pet's health and reassess it and go strong into the new year. Do you have something to say about that? <laughs> huh? Is there something you'd like to share? <laughs> And so, I mean, one of the best places to start is with nutrition. Okay. Whether you have a pet or are going to get a pet, mm -hmm. knowing good, complete nutrition for your pet is super important. Yeah. So what about workouts? What should these doggies be doing? Yeah, staying physical is also really important, just like mm -hmm. people health. Right. Quality food and quality exercise is, is a huge part of just staying healthy day to day. And so for these guys, as simple as just getting outside and getting walked outside is great. Right. Chasing the ball around, getting into parks. You know, if they're social and they get along well with other dogs, interacting with other dogs is terrific, especially at this young age when yeah. they're social. And interacting with people at this young age also is super important. I mean, these guys are pretty socialized and pretty sweet, right? But uh, all those can help with their uh, their daily physical activity needs. Okay, so let's talk about you. People Magazine <laughs> named you the sexiest vet alive. How has this accolade changed your life? Um, I mean, it's been fun and exciting. Right. I wouldn't say it's been like a huge life changer. I'm still a vet. Right. I still practice, you know, medicine and surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to travel a lot. I mean, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's been like a huge change, but it, it's just right. been fun. It's been positive, and I think it's brought positive attention to to pets and, and veterinary medicine. Right. You know what? Okay, if you're gonna just be like this, actually, I'm not gonna do anything. You're gonna have to stay right here. <laughs> you're just gonna stay here <laughs> yeah. and look really cute. <laughs> so you, you got it all. You got the whole package. You have one million followers. I'm sure people say some pretty weird things to you on Instagram. Yeah. People, just leave it at that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, we gotta know, though, what's the weirdest DM you've ever gotten? We ask celebrities God. this all the time, and we have gotten marriage promotions. We got yeah. weird pictures. What about you? You're an animal lover. Oh, man. You're a vet. What is some of the weird stuff you've got? Oh, God. I mean, I get I get some weird pictures. Some weird pics. I get some weird questions. Some weird questions. Really personal questions, and I would never answer to yeah. somebody I don't know, or maybe anybody. <laughs> like, just but, weird stuff. But you do do well with engaging in your fans. <laughs> thank you. I do see that on your Instagram. Oh, stuff. thank you. It's, it's, I mean, it's, I appreciate you so much, yeah. and I love that they like what I, yeah, that's, that's edible. You Microphones like. you can eat. <laughs> And so it's tough to keep up with it all, but I really do appreciate it, and I try to when I can. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting with us. It was Absolutely. so much fun. And guys, if you want to learn more about Dr. Evan, head over to okmagazine.com. To learn more about nutrition, quality, and safety of pet food, please visit purina.com slash nutrition. Right? <laughs>